Hi everyone, I am assigned with the topic of Waddington's experiment on embryonic induction. Let's get started. Waddington's experiment was conducted in 1934. It describes the discovery that the primitive streak induces the mammalian tissue. Waddington's hypothesis was that a transplanted primitive streak could induce neural tissue in the ectoderm of a rabbit embryo. The primitive streak defines the axis of an embryo and is capable of inducing the differentiation of various embryo during gastrulation. In this experiment, Waddington was able to induce neural differentiation Waddington's inspiration for this experiment came from Spamant's discovery of an amphibian organizer. In 1932, he confirmed the presence of organizing tissue in chick and duck embryos, which led to the way for his experiment on mammalian embryo. Waddington intended to induce neural plate formation by grafting a chick organizer into the rabbit embryo. Since the rabbit embryo was more difficult to manipulate, in this experiment the chick primitive streak was transplanted to a pocket between ectoderm and endoderm. Waddington noted the difficulties encountered during the manipulation of the rabbit embryo are due to its transparency, toughness, and stickiness. In this experiment, two embryos were shown to have developed neural tissue in the presence of chick primitive streak. This is a diagrammatic diagram which shows the Paddington's experiment on embryonic induction. Thus, the chick primitive streak which act as a donor, which is grafted into the host rabbit in between ectoderm and endoderm, will induce a neural induction, which finally produce two embryos with two embryos. That's all. Thank you.